Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to our FIFA 22 Road to Glory on the PS5. Wow, my first next-gen Road to Glory. I just realized that this is our first next-gen Road to Glory. And we've got some new squad members. If you guys remember from the end of last episode, we had around about 8,000 coins. And then after playing our first two games, having a win and a loss, we can now go into our squad. And I'll show you guys who I picked up. So I realized from... Wow, is Holland seriously injured? That is ridiculous. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So in our first few games, Taylor was getting absolutely rinsed down the wing. Everyone was running past him. And honestly, if we want to be successful, we've got to have fast fullbacks. So I picked us up a new fullback. The best fullback in the Premier League, you guys. Kieran Tierney, baby. He is going to be so huge for us. That's right, the best left back in the Premier League and I also picked us up another player so I'll show you guys who exactly that was we got ourselves Fernand Torres and I actually realized that Fernand Torres is actually a pretty good player to snipe and I was able to snipe him once and uh, let's see on the transfer market if he may have sold yeah it looks like he's already sold so I bought him for 1700 put him up for 2400 it's a great way to get coins man I actually might try and do that a little bit more after this episode ends but Without any further ado, we have some objectives to collect because we were very, very, very successful in the last episode. First off, we've got some season progress. Who do we want to pick up? I say that we go for Foden. Obviously, we have a Premier League squad going, so Foden makes the most sense for us. And uh, we can definitely slot him directly into our midfield for, uh, what's his name? Mark Noble. And then we also have this uh, coin boost that we're close to. And objectives, we completed the daily objective, which is just going to give us some more XP, but... The more XP we get, the closer we get to uh, that next season reward, which is another coin boost, which is something that we'll definitely take. And uh, we also completed most of our stadium development. I'm just going to collect all this stuff. All right, so that's all of that stuff collected. We probably will end up going in and quick selling all of that stuff, to be honest. We do get some coins for completing our first game of Division Rivals. We also get some advanced chemistry here, getting a Sentinel, which we will actually probably pop... Uh, you know what? I might save it for when we purchase our first center back. And then in terms of transfer market, we have buy a player and we get a cat uh, chemistry style for our goalkeeper, which, you know, Fabianski seems like he could use. He was absolutely terrible in our first game. Might be something that EA has to go in and uh, fix a little bit. I'm going to go in here. Let's uh, open up all of these stadium packs and, and just uh, quick sell all that stuff pretty much. All right, so those were probably the deadest packs that we have ever opened in our entire career. Let me get, uh, let me get, what's his name, Fernand Torres out of here. He's a great player to snipe. We made like 500 coins on that one card. If I had like 10K, I would just be, I'd be making like 2,000 coins every five minutes. That's just an, in, that's an insane way to make some coins. And I'll probably end up sitting that once we get a little bit more, uh, once we get a little bit more coins to work with. And the way we're going to do that is by playing more games. So let's hop back into Foot Champions. Winning our first game, losing our second. Actually, other way around. Lost the first, won the second. Can we get ourselves into the next rank? This is rank two rewards. If we win one more, it looks like it pops us into rank two and we'll qualify for the reward. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into the first game. Hopefully, Kieran Tierney helps us. This is going to be our last game with Hu Ming Sun. As a matter of fact, I might pop Fernand Torres on the wing, and then we'll put Hu Ming Sun off the bench on for Harvey Barnes. And uh, we also, didn't we get a player to replace? Yes, we got Phil Foden. So we're gonna pop Phil Foden in there as well. And uh, our squad is looking strong, man. Hunter chemistry, looking good, looking suave. And without any further ado, let's hop into our first game of the episode. This guy's got a starter squad. He's got some Bundesliga players, some Serie A defense. Dude, the teams that pop, that flash, are so quick. I assume because we're on next gen. But uh, I kind of don't like it, man. I, I like the ability to be able to see my teammates' squad before we hop in. Uh-oh. And Malin is through already. That's good defending. That is great defending right there. See, that is when we need Kieran Tierney, and he was nowhere to be found. All right, Fernand Torres has broke in here, and he's played Phil Foden into the center to Harvey. And Harvey was not able to get his tiny little head onto it. Oh, that was a great tackle. Oh, and we just give it right back. 
Uh, can they create something? Oh, he's put it just a Oof, Mullen has right just post. put that wide, and that is a warning call, if anything. Lucas Vasquez. Chance to take the lead. Oh, and, and he's scored. Mullen has gotten in there, and Mullen is one of those cards that is going to be very overpowered at the start of this FIFA cycle. And I don't know how he's able to have so much time there on the ball. I I thought I did enough to, to get in front of the ball there, but apparently not. Predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers... Oh, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. Oh, oh and he's gone 2-0 up, just and I just cannot well, stop Mullen. And that's going to be halftime. And it was not a great half. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. We didn't really play that well. And if we want to get the win here, we're really going to have to dig deep. I'm maybe thinking about switching up our um, switching up our formation. That might possibly help us out. I'm not really sure. We've had good pass accuracy. We've had good possession. But we just haven't defended that well, to be honest. And uh, we're going to have to definitely switch that up if we want to, if we want to get the win here today. Bro, what is that, man? What am I supposed to do? I tackle the ball. It gives it right back to him. That All right, that goal was the, the first goal that was not our fault so far in this FIFA. Brother, you can't stop Malin. Every time he runs through, he scores. Oh, my God. You know, honestly... I don't know what to say. This guy's playing the 4-4-2 and it's working for him so Damn. well. Take it away from Racing forward, trying to catch them out. All right, here we go. We might be able to get a goal here. And we are, but I think it's just too little too late to be honest with you guys. I don't think we're gonna be able to get back in this game. I was not able well, to stop Mullen at all. I don't know if it's because of our, our defense is just so it's just what too low rated. The pace is too low. I'm not exactly not so sure, but it's definitely something that we're going to have to fix because I am not going to accept four goals to just simple through balls and 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 and, and balls one back in the midfield. You know, it, it really it stems from our midfield. And there you go, another through ball that just goes straight through our defense. They seem a little bit too overpowered this year, I'm not going to lie with you guys. But, you know what, we have to use that knowledge to our benefit and see if we can... Uh, see if we can use it to get ourselves some goals. Alright, Bergvine could be through here. We get ourselves a corner, but I've, I've yet to be able to do anything from corners. Except, there we go. All right, 4-2. And that's going to be the end of the game. 4-2, the final score. And uh, I got to say, I'm disappointed with that. Mullen getting all four of his goals. He seems to be uh, one to be reckoned with in the beginning of this FIFA cycle. And... He got through us with all through. All right, let's see his first goal. All right, so he's dribbling. He's just passed it to him wide open. Nobody able to close it down. All right, I'll take that. That's my fault. Completely my fault. I should have been able to play there. This one. You could say our center back is out of position. But, and maybe I shouldn't have taken out Fabianski. He's able to chip it right over us. Absolutely no problem. You could also say that goal's my fault. This one, I tackle him. Ball goes right back to him. Instantly throw on goal. He scores. I am not taking the fault for this goal. This one was absolutely ridiculous. Should not have been a goal in any any way, shape, or form. And this last one as well. I think the score should have been 2-2. We would have gotten a tie. Look at this. Look at... What am I supposed to do? <laughs> he scores the first time. Finish, of course. Fabianski getting down. And uh, we end up losing that game. Very, very disappointing for me. But uh, you know what? We're playing, we're playing tough opponents, and we're just going to have to keep doing as well as we can do. Another match lost there. Starting off this FIFA series, not quite on the best foot. But hey, you know what? We're, we've got a starter team. We can't hold ourselves too accountable for the results that we're getting. And uh, we've just got to work on making our squad a little bit stronger. Huming Sun 
is going to be leaving in three games he scored two goals for us really didn't do too much for us but i'm starting to think that we might want to switch our formation the 4-2-2 for him seemed to be very powerful so i think that we're going to try it out and that leaves us with a striker that we need to pick up so without any further ado let's get into the market and let's see who we can buy with the amount of coins we've got all right boys so back here in the store i'm gonna go open up these two stadium packs as they're completely and utterly useless and then dude let's hope we get something nice out of our premium gold pack it could set us up so well if we get a try a adama triore or we were able to get ourselves uh even a sar any of those things would be so useful please fifa please please i am begging you you never expect anything out of the premium gold pack but it's always nice when it shows up we do oh and we get Junior. He's not really going to be too useful to us, to be perfectly honest with you. And uh, this untradeable pack is not the best. We do get a CDM to center mid, which we will probably use eventually. And we do get some contracts, which is always nice. But at the end of the day, that pack was, you know, kind of useless to us. But now it's time to buy our striker. And I think I already know who I want to pick up. Let's take a look at him. All right, so I just realized... That I had the menu music on this entire time, which means that probably every our first two episodes are going to be copy striked, which is fine. Obviously, I don't make any money off of this stuff, but it's just a little bit annoying. I really hope that it doesn't get a. Uh, it sometimes it the copyrighted music gets it banned in certain countries, which if it's the United States or the UK is is just terrible for for this type of series. So Ollie Watkins is the the player I'm interested in. How much is he going to cost? Looks around about oh. Oh, that would have been a sick snipe. Is he a player we really want? Four-star weak foot, three-star skills, high, high. All right, well, let's look at what, what strikers we might be able to pick up for the amount of money that we have. Um. Oh, my God, Welbeck is a silver. That's crazy to see. All right, looking through these strikers, it looks like we want to choose here between Calvin Phillips, who's three-star, three-star, and then we have our boy, Mikel Antonio who I think is the one that we're going to pick up here. Not the, you know, not the fastest of all time, but hopefully fast enough to get past most players. He's not got the best stamina either, which is going to be a little bit of a problem in the end game. You know, let's pick up Mikel Antonio. We'll see how he plays. And uh, if, you know, if he's not that good, then we can, we can obviously sell him off. Or we could go in and we could buy ourselves uh, Calvert... Calvert Lewin to play alongside him, and uh, that would be a nice little partnership there because Holland is going to be gone soon. All right, I'm gonna see if I can snipe him, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I I managed to slightly snipe him there, as you can see, and uh, he's going for around 2,700 coins. So I'm gonna try and snipe another one of him so that we can sell it for a little bit of a profit, and uh, I'll, I'll show you guys the snipe when I get it because we do have a little bit extra money. Just make a nice quick 500 coins. All right, so we finally got our first, uh, we finally got our first Antonio. It took me a long time, you know, it took me like five minutes, but we're going to be able to sell him off for, uh, for 2,000, 2,600, which is beautiful. That is a profit of around about 700 coins there. So hopefully he sells while we're in this next game. And without any further ado, let's get into this next game. But before we do that, obviously, we're going to have to pop in our new striker, Mikel Antonio. Hopefully, he plays well for us. I have absolutely no idea really what to expect from him. And uh, we've definitely got to get Harvey Barnes out of there as soon as possible. But without any further ado, we've got an objective here. Let's collect that, and then we'll get into the next game. Hey! So we get our six green links there, and that's going to give us a gold players pack, which should have one rare gold in it. And uh, I actually have gotten a what's it called an icon in a rare gold player and not even a rare gold player pack i've gotten an icon in a gold player pack before so hopefully we can repeat it let's uh open up our silver pack first i wonder if you can still get uh icons and silver packs well if you can we're not going to be doing it today but i will hold on to these players just in case they're uh they do become useful eventually. Looks like there's only three of him on the market. So we will hold on to him as well. And uh, he will be useful for any silver any silver games that we're going to have to play. And here we go. Our gold players pack. Can we? We got an inform. That is huge. Now, is that our rare player? It, it isn't. 
It is, but we also get Gabrielle. Oh my god, let's get it, bro. We need Gabrielle in our defense right now. And we've got a uh, an inform, which is untradeable. All right, well, that's not as hype as I was at the beginning, but hey, it's still great to get an inform. Our first inform of the series, hopefully many more to come. And uh, without any further ado, let's go and... Oh, looks like we already sold off... Mikel Antonio. I think I'm going to try and snipe another one, see if we can make some profit on that. And then we'll add the players into our squad and we'll get into the second game of the episode. Hey, okay. So we got another one there and uh, we're going to, we're, we're just going to sell him right off. And I'm actually going to up his price since he sold so quickly. We'll probably get away for listing him for 2.7k, which is going to be another profit of 700 coins, guys. This is how you can make so many coins in the beginning of FIFA. And I think in between the next episode and this one, I'm going to try and snipe a few more players. Try and get as many coins as we can in the beginning because sniping is so useful. Not that many people know how to do it. If you guys want a little bit of a sniping tutorial, I will let you guys... Uh, I can definitely get that out to you guys. But without any further ado, let's... Uh, who are we taking out? Definitely Lachelle's. Sorry, Lachelle's. He actually hasn't played too badly, but it looks like we need pace in the defense. And... Uh, Gabrielle has just a little bit more pace. That, that does sadly cut off any chemistry links that we had going into our right back. But honestly, at the end of the day, it's probably just best that we keep it this way. And just like that, let's hop into our next game of the episode. All right, so I did actually just add a uh, healing card to Holland because he did pick up a little bit of an injury. And I want to be able to use him. He's going to be very, very essential. And uh, Hopefully, Gabrielle shores up the defense a little bit better. I don't want another Mullen running right past us. I don't know. He must be an expensive player to start off the uh, start off the FIFA life cycle. So that guy who we played against must have a little bit of coins or spent a little bit of FIFA points. But I will show you that you don't need to buy any FIFA points to be successful in this game. And this is more of the starter squad that I want to go up against. He does have Morales up top, which is going to be a little bit difficult, but we should be able to get past him. I say we should be able to get past him, but that all depends if we're able to play a good game. Testing out the 4-4-2 today. And already giving the ball away. Oh, what a save by Fabianski. That was my fault there. I was not playing too smart. And I keep passing the ball right to him. Well, no stopping him. Now can they make something happen? A deep delivery. Well, in fact, a well done, Fabianski. Can you get it out of your gloves? Yes, you can. Holland, get the pass off. Oh, well, that's, a splendid that's piece of so, so well done. Oh, He's Mikel Antonio, point-blank range. Not able to get it past the defender. All right, and that and there it is, the half is going to be halftime. Absolutely nothing to separate the two sides. We've, we've passed absolutely terribly. We haven't really taken any shots. That's definitely something we've got to switch in this next half. And you know what? I think I'm going to take off Delielli for Perisic, and hopefully we're able to work something out from there. Holland in the box. And that's a penalty. Well, there might have been a case for a yellow card, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, Derek, it's a foul, yes. A penalty, absolutely. But for me, it's not a yellow card. The ref has got that right. There we go. Scoring our first penalty of the series. And it's Tavanier, who actually had our best uh, penalty rating there. Able to slot it in. I would have thought that it would have been Holland with the best penalty rating, but uh, it was not. We take the lead, which is huge because there has not been a goal score yet in this game. And uh, man, you know what? When you're when you're feeling like you just can't get a pass right, sometimes all you need is a penalty. Can Bergwijn get past the fullback? No, he can't. But the fullback passes it straight to Mikel Antonio, and how does the goalkeeper save that? The high press was very much on. Takes on the shots. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. All right, we're through here in the 90th. But that's going to be the game. <laughs> oh my God, am I happy that we were winning when that happened. I can't seem to figure out how to shoot so far in this FIFA, but we get the 1-0 win. Thank the FIFA gods. And uh, man, you know, those are, those are always lucky games when you win by one goal. But... Happy to get the dub, happy to get the, 
happy to get at least one victory in this episode and uh, might have been hard fought but it feels all the better our man of the match is Fabianski and I can agree with that this guy from 2016 he's need to work on his play because he was he did not play like someone who, who has played uh, since 2016 but it does look like we're able to get into the next rank which means that with only two more wins we're going to be able to get into division which means for only two more wins we're going to be able to get ourselves into division nine which would be beautiful and uh it looks like our 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 transfers have sold off and we've got two objectives here so let's see uh let's first see what objectives we got we got some season progress get ourselves a tifo doesn't really matter to me which one we get honestly the the stadium decorations are cool and everything but that's not really what i'm here for save that to our club go into foundations what are we looking for here competitive play win two rivals games getting 100 coins which is essentially useless to us 100 coins is really not not much any not much of anything but um i'm gonna try and do some more snipes as you saw we've been able to make a good amount of money doing that so uh thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode maybe with a little bit of extra cash and without any further ado i hope you have a beautiful rest of your day morning night whatever time it might be where you are and as always ladies and gentlemen peace